how's it going? So, today we are going to do a review on this Tack Light um, saw, 12 volt saw. So, um, I needed this because apparently when you're doing uh, automotive, automotive work, uh, sometimes you need this for stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna explain what kind of stuff. If you've done automotive work, you guys know that as strange as it is, sometimes you need kind of like a hacksaw to cut stuff out. I've gotten calls on so many different stuff, um, and um, and I've been needing this uh, for certain projects. Um, so I uh, originally I had bought a, um, a Dremel Type Two from HyperTough. I should have done a review on that. I didn't, unfortunately. Uh, I returned that already, so I'm not going to do a review on it. But it wasn't really great at cutting things. Metal, to, for example. Um, so, I had bought this. Um, didn't really even know that they had a 12 volt version of Hacksaws. Uh, which is pretty much what it is, a Hacksaw. Um, I actually did watch a couple of videos on this on YouTube. It cuts wood it cuts metal it cuts a whole bunch of different things but uh it's 12 volt as you can see i'm charging it up in my car this is what it comes with it's what it comes with uh the blade is separated what happens for you guys to put the blade in it's an easy open and lock case right you see this twisting here it twists out and then you can put the blade in and take the blade out this locks in from the top bam all right. Now I did use this. Well, I didn't use it. I did try it out, and I tried it out, and it works. You know, it works. Goes back and forth. It does what this is supposed to do. Um, I haven't used it on cutting metal or anything like that uh, on wood, but I'm sure it works. All right. It looks now. Originally, I thought this was going to be a bit bigger. But it's just the right size. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't gonna be as big as I thought it was, and unfortunately, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was. But it's the exact right size for me to keep it in my truck. All right, it's the exact right size. I'm not gonna complain about that. It looks like it's solidly built. Uh, it comes with a charger. It comes with a battery. Um, apparently, I bought it off of eBay. It was like 50 bucks, but. Apparently they sell it a lot cheaper on Amazon because it came in an Amazon box. Came in an Amazon box. All right. So, what can I say about it? Plastic, metal, metal, plastic, metal. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna be using this for like crazy. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna be using this for stuff like you know crazy jobs where you know I'm, I'm gonna be using this exclusively for you know for, for heavy work and stuff like that this is just uh, in cases where I need to cut uh, you know thin metal or whatever cut a boat out they had cases recently where I've been needing uh, you know to cut metal to cut uh, you know plastic pieces off the fender and stuff like that and uh, a lot of the stuff that I had I had a hacksaw um, I had a uh, couple of things. I, I had the Dremel Type Two from HyperTough that you know um, uh, didn't work out. Didn't work out. wasn't good at cutting anything. wasn't good at sanding anything. wasn't good at doing what it was supposed to do. I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe that stuff is just used for uh, plastic. It cut through plastic pretty good, but in terms of bolts, it wasn't really that good. So it comes with one blade, uh, which is the blade right here. I'm gonna have to go to. Um, um, uh, Harbor Freight to get multiple blades. Uh, I'm looking for a hacksaw. Hopefully, I got a hacksaw. They got a hacksaw that could fit this. Hopefully. Now, uh, let me just go through this. Um, it does have a battery meter. It tells you how much you got power, how much power you got. Uh, apparently, there's a reverse and a forward, and then a a, a on switch. Um, yeah. So. It works. Uh, I'm gonna probably do a video on me trying it out. Um, you know what? It's just the right size. I, I, I um, you know, I haven't actually been looking for one of these tools, but I happen to be in Walmart, uh, and uh, they have a hyper tough 
um, saw. I buy hyper tough stuff as you guys do because it's cheaper than uh, the name brand the name brand stuff. And from what I've seen, the hyper tough stuff is as good as the name brand. Uh, I'm not gonna go and buy name brand stuff for like you know thirty percent, fifty percent more. There's no point to it. Um, you know. And a lot of times you're gonna have to switch out these tubes anyway because the battery operated and uh, you know these batteries died out on you and stuff. Kinda, I guess. I might be able to get this battery from eBay or something like that. But, but I will say, uh, you know, it does come with the manual. You guys see the manual? It does come with the manual. Um, everything was pretty easy to pop in and pop out. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Nothing, nothing uh, extraordinarily hard. Um, I just wish that the um, the 12 volt charger is the same 12 volt charger. I mean, it looks about the same, but the sockets are different than the ones I have for my Harbor Freight uh, 12 volt wrench. I mean, it, it just sucks that I gotta carry like three versions of uh, these chargers. They're kind of big and bulky, but no big deal. Um, no big deal. It, you know, this saves me time on cutting something out uh, because. Uh, Man, I have stories to tell about cutting stuff out. <clears throat> you know, uh, as far as as far as um, you know, as far as having to deal with you know uh, bolts that are rounded off, and you gotta cut those out. Uh, you know, I, stories where I've spent hours on end just trying to take one bolt out of you know you know uh, you know uh, an area of the car that I've been trying to work on. Uh, 10.8 volts reciprocating saw, uh, you know, um, good nice size guys. I mean that's one of the things that I actually like about this. I wasn't looking for something he uh, heavy duty. I wasn't looking for something big. Uh, it fits right in my hand, uh, just fine, uh, you know, and uh, you know, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, I don't know how this go how much this goes for on Amazon probably cheaper than what I bought it for but no big deal uh, it was a good price for me um, I'm not gonna return this I don't know why people are doing I don't know how many people on Amazon doing this I mean this is like a drop shipping thing that they did they do you know drop shipping thing but uh yeah but um, let me see if I could plug it in and show you guys I'm gonna plug it in and show you guys um, it's not really a review of it but uh, you know, you pop this in, pop it in, and uh, you know, nice and strong. Uh, battery tells me uh, it's kind of. I think the battery tells me I'm on a low end. I think it's supposed to be green all around if it was 100% uh, laid up instead of uh, green yellow and red but yeah sorry it's not reverse it's not reverse or forward I, I keep on thinking this is a drill or something like that but uh, there's a safety mechanism on here you gotta press it you gotta press it yeah so real good that they have a safety mechanism I like that because uh, you know these saws are kind of dangerous these saws are kind of dangerous so um Real good that they have this. Um, the uh, the one the hyper tough 12 volt saw that I saw at Walmart was for about 50 bucks, and uh, it was about 50 bucks, and uh, it was a lot bigger. It was maybe like uh, maybe three a third of the size big, uh, you know, bigger than this. Yeah, guys. So I had to take a phone call. Um, hey, thanks for staying on this video, guys. I appreciate it. I uh, really, really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys are looking for a really nice saw, um, I'm going to say this is worth the money. A nice, small, affordable, you know, affordable um, reciprocating saw that's that, that's compact. Uh, I'm not getting paid by these guys, um, you know, to, 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 uh, for this review. Uh, this is just what I bought. Just want to give you guys a little bit of that uh, knowledge off hand. Uh, this is a saw that I bought, um, and this is a saw that um, that I will be using in the future. Um, to be honest with you, it's it 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 you know it has some weight to it. It has some weight to it, and uh, 
that motor sounds strong guys that motor sounds strong it seems like you know I've seen videos where they've actually um, you know used this on metal so uh, I'm gonna definitely go to Harbor Freight and uh, get um, you know one of these uh, uh, hacksaw type uh, blade deal and uh, you know save me a, a lot of time on this but um you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna do a three month review of this like I've done on, on, on the rest of the videos, uh, uh, on reviews and stuff like that. Uh, gotta, gotta, you know, first use this uh, in real life and uh, you know, that's uh, what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna post the video up on it. All right guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any reviews, opinions, positive, negative, I'm sure you guys have some opinion on this. I uh, get some, uh, uh, some of you guys, uh, you know, sending me messages on, you know, stuff, <laughs> stuff, um, guys, I really don't care, positive and negative, um, positive and negative, uh, opinions on stuff like this, uh, you know, let it fly, guys, uh, let me know, uh, what you guys think, uh, any questions, comments, etc., etc., uh, positive, negative feedback, really don't care, you know, just, uh, push that button, and, uh, please subscribe, uh, I put a bunch of variety of videos up on my channel and uh, hope this has helped you guys out on you know whether you guys are would like to choose this um, uh, saw for for your um, for your tool arsenal arsenal or whatever all right guys uh, so so adios I'm out of here uh, video is done and review is done. Uh, like I said, leave a comment, subscribe, etc., etc. All right, guys. Hey, guys, how's it going? So it's been three months since I did a review of this. Um, I just didn't post it, but um, I'm gonna give you guys my, uh, you know, my review of this after three months of use, and I really didn't use it too much. So I used it once, and it worked pretty good. So the the problem. The floor with the saw is not the saw itself. It's small, it's compact, it's durable. It's pretty good, it's pretty powerful. Um, the only problem I had with it was the battery life. <clears throat> the battery um, took a while to charge and you know I used it for to, to cut something on a car. I think it was a tie rod or whatever. Um, it got halfway through it and the battery died. Now, I don't have I, I, I didn't have an extra battery. It doesn't come up an extra battery. I think you can buy an extra battery. But that's a flaw of the saw. And that's the only flaw in um, of the saw. So um, I did give it a good review when I, um, when, when I recorded it. Um, and I'm posting this up today. And uh, I'm gonna have to go back on that review and say that um, after using it, after using it, um, I'm not. I haven't used it since. I use I've used it once, haven't used it since because of the battery. I mean, it was like fifty something dollars. All right, um, it was my my first time looking for a saw like this. Um, I I should have gone to um, Walmart and picked up a hyper tough version of it and the hyper tough version of it probably has a longer lasting battery than this and you might be able to replace it they might have an extra battery because you always want an extra battery when they when you're using these uh, 12 volt um, tools unfortunately this didn't come with it this doesn't have it the battery isn't all that you know it doesn't it's not I, I don't know I, I don't I'm not looking at the video right now I don't have the saw with me I don't think it's a 19 volt or whatever it's not super super strong and it's not super super long lasting it's not long lasting at all so that's my it lasted me um you know didn't didn't get the didn't get the job done because the battery just wasn't strong enough um to get the job done i mean if it if it was a bigger battery if it came with uh an extra battery that i could use i mean i would give this um an absolute five star thumbs up it's a small it's a small saw like i said you could put it in storage anywhere in your car or what or however you need to, to put it it's small enough um, and it's strong enough but the battery the battery the battery the battery that's why that's why I'm giving this a thumbs down